a new interstellar object has been found in our solar system, which could be an alien object or an alien spaceship. A rocky cigar shape object detected in space last month came from another solar system. Astronomers said on November 20th of 2017, as they confirmed an unprecedented observations. The discovery may provide clues as to how other solar systems are formed, says the researchers, who published their study in the British journal Nature. The asteroid named Oumuamua by its discoverers is one quarter mile or 400 meters long and highly elongated perhaps 10 times as long as it is wide. The asteroid was detected by the telescope in Hawaii. The Wamwa means messengers in Hawaiian. That odd shape is unprecedented among the 750,000 asteroids and comets observed in our solar system where they are formed, said the researchers. They concluded that the cigar shaped thing is from another solar system. Due to data on its orbit, these objects entered our solar system once in a year. But they are hard to trace and had not been detected until now, thanks to the strongest telescopes. The detection suggests that this object has been wandering through our galaxy, the Milky Way, unattached to any solar systems for hundreds of millions of years before it ran into our solar systems. For decades, we have theorized that such interstellar objects are out there, and now, for the first time, we have the direct evidence that they exist said Thomas Zubachin, the Associate to Administrator of NASA Science Mission Directorate in Washington, D.C. This history-making discovery is opening a new window to study the formation of solar system beyond our own. So what do you think of the new interstellar object which is heading towards Earth and to our solar system from one year? Will this be an really an asteroid or a spaceship or any kind of uh, weapon? It was a special day when this object was first uh, discovered. Uh, we have been waiting for the discovery of an interstellar object for decades, basically. Oh, when I first heard about this interstellar object, it was very exciting just from a scientific point of view that finally there's uh, been an actual observation of such an object. This object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years, we don't know. A number of our uh, survey projects and other observatories uh, immediately turned their telescopes to take observations of this object. From the observations we have so far, it uh, looks like it's a very elongated object, uh, maybe uh, about a quarter mile in length. We think this object, 2017 U1, is very long, perhaps 400 meters or so long and very narrow, skinny, perhaps maybe 40 meters or so in the other dimensions. That's a very unusual shape. We don't see that in our solar system. None of the asteroids in our solar system look like that. So it's very puzzling how it could have obtained this shape. We also see that it's uh, uh, very reddish uh, in color, which uh, indicates that uh, it's been uh, uh, possibly in space a, a long time uh, and irradiated by uh, not only the light from our sun, but uh, other suns as well. There's still quite a bit to learn about this interstellar object and, and limited time because it's on its way out of the solar system. It's fading very fast. It's a relatively uh, small object, so it's uh, very dim. But we are continuing to try to use NASA assets like the Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer to take uh, observations to determine more about its uh, size and composition. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office has a near-Earth object observations program which funds efforts that survey the skies to look for near-Earth asteroids and to calculate their orbits and their trajectories and to determine if any of them might pose a hazard to Earth. And as part of doing that, 
some amazing discoveries can happen, and the discovery of this interstellar object was one of them. As our observational capabilities improve, PanSTARS has been getting better, other surveys have been getting better. There are a new generation surveys that will come online. We will be detecting more of these in the future. Water, our most precious resource. Together, we have established some vital goals. But what is a goal if not a promise? And what is our promise worth if not delivered? Sustainable Development Goal 6 Ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. By 2030, achieve universal In this world of unquenchable thirst, every nation drinks at the same well. 71% of Earth's surface is water. 4% is fresh water, but only 0.5% of that is safe for human consumption. We find ourselves in deep, uncharted waters. Today our promises are at risk, and challenges rise up more rapidly than solutions. Two in five people are affected by water scarcity. 263 million people spend more than 30 minutes just to collect water, meaning less education for too many. More than 2 billion people drink water contaminated by feces. Diarrheal disease is preventable with safe water. Yet it kills one child every minute. Our task is daunting. Climate change is one of the greatest challenges of our time. With its catastrophic effects accelerating, Shocks of drought and deluge unleash their devastation. While population growth increases demand for water, food and energy, rivers dry up and no longer reach the sea. Ours has become a defining moment in human history. Water has forced itself to center stage. It demands that we change fundamentally. It asks that we value it profoundly. The world is waiting for leadership. We must keep our promise. Do you value water? Water is at the center of everything we do. It nurtures our livelihoods, irrigates our crops, powers our cities and industries, and preserves our environment. But the amount of water we have is finite. All the water on Earth would fit into a sphere 860 miles wide. And as our population grows, demand for water will rise to produce more food and energy and to serve our megacities. At the same time, hundreds of millions of people still lack access to safe drinking water. Billions lack access to sanitation, such as toilets and hygiene. Lack of sanitation spreads diseases, causes child stunting and malnutrition, and impacts economic growth. Climate change will expose us to new risks. Dry regions are becoming drier. Others are drowning in floods. Water insecurity is becoming a daily struggle for many people across the world, especially the poorest and most vulnerable. But the future is still in our hands. Decisions we make today will determine our resilience. With the adoption of the Global Goals, the 2015 Climate Change Agreement, new champions at the highest political levels and dedicated partners, we have an opportunity to shift to a sustainable, resilient path. The World Bank, through its Water Global Practice, 
provides large-scale financing and the collective knowledge of over 300 technical experts in over 60 countries, promoting sustainable water and sanitation solutions that ensure no one is left behind. And helping countries to strengthen capacity and institutions, service delivery and water resources management. Working at the nexus of the thirstiest and cross-cutting disciplines such as agriculture and food, energy, promoting integrated urban water management, encouraging cooperation in the most challenging transboundary river basins, engaging in larger, longer-term reform programs, mainstreaming water in disaster risk management, working toward environmental sustainability, making water central to adapting to climate change, and enabling countries to move towards long-term water security and to build resilience. Together with our partners, we can help bring the change needed to ensure a water secure world for all. One global goal, one global practice. Post your comments below. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. This is WCU Daily. Think big. Think different. Bye.